Hey guys, welcome back to Foundations Friday. This week I'm showing you how to make the final life cast out of Ultra Cal. You're going to want to start by filling in any imperfections in the edge with clay. I've also marked the neckline I want with Sharpie. Then cover the whole thing in alginate. You're basically life casting it. Once the alginate is set, you're going to want to burp it, which is gently lifting it off the life cast, not all the way off, just so there's not any suction. I forgot to do this step and it resulted in tearing up the alginate and distortion of the nose. Nothing too bad though. Then, once you've burped the alginate and it's back in its place, apply plaster bandages all over the alginate. I do about four layers. Once everything is set, gently peel the alginate and plaster bandages away so you can remove the hydrocal cast. Then build an inch clay wall around the neck to contain the ultracal. The first step is doing the splash coat. This is two layers of ultracal mixed to melted ice cream consistency, stippled into the mold with a brush to capture all the detail. Once the splash coats are firmed up but not fully set, it's time for the burlap layers, which strengthen the cast. Mix your Ultra Cal a little thicker and coat burlap in it and apply it on top of the splash coats. Gently press it in to make sure there's not any air pockets. I like to do two to three layers of burlap, but some people do as many as eight. but only bring the burlap to about a quarter to half an inch away from the edge. You also use the burlap to insert a steel pipe so you have something to grip when you're popping molds. Once the burlap layers are done, it's time for the finishing coat. So it's all smooth and pretty. This layer is also known as the peanut butter layer because it's the consistency of peanut butter. All in all, you want the cast to be about an inch in thickness. As the ultra cal sets, I keep working it up the sides and smoothing it so I get an even cast. You can use a tool for this, but I like my hands because I find that the heat from my hands speeds up the setting of the Ultra Cal. When it's really set, you can also smooth it out with a spare piece of burlap. And it's ready to pop when your fingernail doesn't scratch the stone. Thank you so much for watching this week's Foundations Friday. I hope you're learning some things in this series. As always, all of my social media links will be listed in the description below if you'd like to check out more of my work. If there's something you'd like to see for Tutorial Tuesday, Foundations Friday, or if you have any general questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.